Uh, it's five. It's after five o'clock, and uh, the enormity of um, <clears throat> my route has kind of dawned on me as I came around this corner. I've been walking up this valley, assuming that the valley led up to this peak. Uh, then there's the small matter of the glacier, and uh, <clears throat> I'm actually on a peak, so I'm going to have to go all the way around this amphitheater. I'm wanting to go up over the top there. Uh, this is an epic. Turn on view ranger, tell me where I am. There we go. It shows me just ahead there's a refuge and the path is then going to go down <laughs> into this valley. It's going to go across and up the other side and it shows me on the other side somewhere midway on the other side there's another refuge fantastic to know that you know i know i can just walk i reckon i can make that other refuge the other side there and then uh, tomorrow morning go up to the top and see if it's flyable you ranger you rock Ah, what a beautiful place now. Look at this. It's been quite a long day. Um, funny thing is my body's kind of getting used to this. I'm quite happy going uphill. Um, for sure I'm sweating, but yeah, body just keeps walking. It's nothing to be afraid of, it's just walking. And as long as I've been taking it easy, I haven't got any blisters, that's good. Um, I seem to prefer going uphill, much easier on the feet. This bag, this super air bag, brilliant. Um, I'm not really feeding it anymore. I'm still carrying about, I don't know, 18 kilograms. Because I've got two and a half of water and 15 and a half bag. Um, what I'm doing is, I've got my ballast hooked off the sides on the front so it sort of counterbalances the weight which is quite nice put some weight in front of my hips which makes it a lot easier to carry and it's very accessible I don't know if you can't drink that then there's no hope for the world it is so clean What a beautiful place. It's another glacier from the other side. And we're going to go up there. And I'm just trying to get some height tonight. So tomorrow morning I don't have too much of a walk. Hopefully we can glide off the top down the other side. Somewhere towards Verbia. I have no idea. So I hope we'll see what happens when we get there. I think, uh, I don't know, half an hour to the hut. And we'll stop. I suppose if you're going to live all the way up here in the mountains, you might have some issues. And uh, I don't know how much business that guy's going to do. <laughs> because there are not many people that would be comfortable sleeping with him. And it's basically just two beds and he sleeps at the bottom and you've got to be in the bunk bed at the top. Um, yeah. So last night I stuck my head in and woke him up and uh, once you've woken up a mountain giant uh, felt a bit rude and difficult to, and awkward to leave I definitely don't want to sample his cooking this morning I almost forgot my clothes 
hanging up to dry in my hasty escape without waking the snoring giant. That smell in South Africa we call it the burgee smell. Alright, I found out last night why that smell is everywhere as Ivo staggered out of bed and went pulled open the slide door and stood at the door his frame blocking the light he's a big man and then proceeded to just spray all over the rocks just outside the door didn't even bother walking around the corner there he was marking his territory I happened to look down over the back side of the bed this morning and there were stacked about six cases of beer. Now, I don't know about you, but that's one freaking big hill to carry six cases of beer. The guy's dedicated, gotta give him that. So we say, au revoir, Yvonne.